Hey guys, what's up? This is Sports Talk 123. And uh, today I'm going to be going over some uh, big shortstop free agent news. And I'm just going to be going down the list of stories in the major leagues. So we're going to start off with Jose Reyes' contract situation. Uh, the Mets remain highly unlikely to give Jose Reyes a Carl Crawford like seven year, $142 million contract, somewhere in that range. Doesn't look like Jose Reyes is going to get that from the Mets. And I don't know if he can get that out on the market, honestly. I mean, Carl Crawford had some really big hype when he was out there. But you never know. Jose Reyes being a shortstop with at the high caliber he can play when he's at his best and healthy. You never know. Uh, but yeah, uh, the Mets say they wouldn't be able to meet the money or the length of Crawford's contract. They're looking more at a five- or six-year deal. And for nowhere near 142 million. Uh, Reyes, you know, he definitely has a substantial case for a big, big free agent contract. Uh, he could return to New York, but like I said, he's gonna have to agree to a five or six year deal. Or, or you know, the Mets could possibly change their current position, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. They held on to him at the trade deadline. But, uh, they say nothing has changed. Just because they held on to him doesn't mean they're going to meet his offer, meet his asking price, or whatever. They're staying right where they were, and he's either going to take their deal, or he's going to be gone. Because the Mets will likely obta obtain a pair of top draft picks if, if they get rid of him. Because they're going to offer him arbitration, and if he declines, he projects as a type A free agent. So, I mean... You, obviously, you'd like to keep him, but if you can't, then you get that. Alright, and then the Phillies obviously hope to re-sign Jimmy Rollins. Uh, Ruben Amaro Jr. told uh, the Philadelphia Daily News that he doesn't want to let R Jimmy Rollins slip away when he hits free agency. Uh, Phillies general manager expressed optimism and reaching a new deal with the shortstop in uh, reaching a new deal with the shortstop after the season. Uh, uh, Amaro said, obviously we'd like to bring Jimmy back, and I'd like to think he would want to come back. Uh, Amaro said he probably won't discuss a deal for Rollins until after the season, however. Uh, the Phillies are up against the luxury tax, and we'll also see Ryan Madsen hit the free agency this summer. Cole Hamels is an extension candidate, uh, which means Amaro faces major decisions regarding key members of his team in the near future. Now, yes, Jimmy Rollins is 32 years old, but, uh, you know, switch hitting shortstop can play at MVP caliber level. Uh, I do think Jimmy Rollins could maybe deserve something in the three-year, 30 million range, and I think most teams in the majors would give him that. I think that's about where he needs to be. Uh, he's 32, projects as a type A free agent. So again, if the Phillies uh, offer him arbitration and he declines and signs elsewhere, they'll receive two top draft picks. Uh, so that's just a little news on the two top free agents. Uh, I think that's going to be all for this video. So that's just uh, two free agents who are key members of their team and have been with their team for a while. Uh, yes, Jimmy Rollins is 32, Jose Reyes is a little younger, but both free agents in the offseason, both project to be type A, and both looking for new deals from their new teams, or they could be heading elsewhere. And if they both go somewhere else, that could definitely shake up the major leagues, because they're both definitely impact players and definitely impact a game from shortstop. So, alright guys, that's it for today's video. Thanks, see ya.